too, because I have the, the important thing here, when everything you do with the horses, it's just the first time or all time, you don't need to keep the horse all time, the pressure right here. The horse need like, his space like loose, like, here, he went and run, so that far he run like this, because I, I can bring him back. That, that time he can kick me. When they turn, sometimes they kick you, but that one, you pull before they turn, you prepare for the kick. So keep it this. You feel it, horse more like nervous, okay, give you less space, like more like turn no, no like pressure on the hold than that. You need to be loose. That's how they they know when they do something wrong or when they, you know, come for where, where they do. Because they feel the pressure, they say, oh, I think there's something wrong, and they start to figure out what is working better. But with him, I give you the pressure on the holder, he really offends the person. Who is he offend, offend, offender? He's offended. Offender. Oh, yeah, that one I can see only that was offender. Offended. And him here. You see here. I can, can do everything here. Read the saddle. Okay, this one here, I teach him all this stuff. He knows scary all the way I do with him here. He know because the horses they run because they know what it is. They think it's something bad for them. But when they start, when they see nothing happen, nothing really bad, they start go really good. He really came here. Okay, I use the thing to here. Put the leg, he don't care the leg, nothing okay, it's good for me. And then... When you, when you thinking, because some horses, when you bend them like this, they can kick you in the head. But you prepare for that stuff, maybe have too many videos for show this, this thing. But he had the, the leg a little back. Okay, right there. You got what you see? Yeah, for more, the saddle is loose. I, the thing I told, I told him, but he, I think he not doing a slide, make the, this roof right there. But I think when I, I swing the, the, the roof that way, the, the cinch of wood go that way. You know, we not timing. <laughs> what? He's getting really desensitized to the rope. Yeah, but it's kind of good thing. There you go. Mm -hmm. He's like, what are you doing? What's up with this rope? Okay. Right there. And then I do with the cinch of up and same time touch him as you your okay. And then keep it with my hand. Because when you drop it the roof in the ground, no loops. Because they run away, I don't know. Like because they run away way I don't know how they put the loops in the legs struck in your legs. If the rope is in the ground, me like strike, nothing, nothing, how said, nothing, the ring, like, circles. Okay, and the other thing right here, and, and him, you want to test it, he want to do with the siege, he no move, okay, and then, do loops, but not tie the cincho yet. No give you pressure on the cincho yet. Because the problem, some horses, when you tie the cincho, they panic, they they run back in. If the saddle not tight, 
they tropes out of back if they scare because they, they start of hairy where is the depression when they jump in from here I go make it ready she he go run away I go tie it slow 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 because you see the depression is down it's not up Okay, something not right here. Okay. Press it down, 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 you can right there with even more right there. And then I oh this one, I key not this one here. She feel more secure. Whatever you do, they feel more secure. They they don't feel like stress, like something that you go to run, run or something. Is there any reason why you don't put a breast collar on them? For, okay, this is the horses like this. I told before, horses like this, big horses, because I don't know, I can I can put it, but I want to show the horse more comfortable everything I do. He's big, he's really strong. He can drag me everywhere she, I, he want it, but he, I go... Most people put a breast collar on so that it helps keep the saddle secure so it doesn't slide underneath them. Yeah, the, yeah but, but this, one, this the saddle no move. Whatever he do, the saddle no move. But as I go, the next time I go put the breast collar, like fishing. I think this saddle no have a breast collar. Oh yeah, that one. It has one. This, this, okay, no, must show one. Okay, this saddle shot for this partition. He, he, he carries something in the back. When I put it in the next saddle, the original saddle will go in, in him. Had uh, this color, it had the back cinch too. There now shows tra transition, has something in the back. Because you see, he put the saddle, make it move a little bit, the saddle not tight. Had the saddle right there. The point is, I show him something in the back, it's no scary him, no nothing bad. She started to look weird, but no do nothing bad. Now try again. That's try why again. you use the bare back pad first, so that they're not... Yeah. The Make saddle's not the first thing on their back. You see right there, how you see the, the ears? He no worry what is in his back. He put his attention on where he's going. Now when I work in, in these courses, everything I do, he feels comfortable. He's okay with the size is fine. I know I know giving nothing the one and nothing. So you don't need to put a breast collar on because you've already tested him that he's not going to get crazy when you put a saddle on. Yeah. Because yeah, you've already done the bareback pad, you did a lot of prep work, so he's yeah. not going to take off bucking and acting crazy where... And you tighten the saddle enough and it fits him well enough that it'll stay put. That way you're not overwhelming him too much with too much tack at once. Everything, add something, add something, same work. You add work and more work and more work. Okay, you see him, he focuses what I want it. He not try to run and run and run and run. Because I not teach him, he run, run all the time. Just I ask for move, he need move. I ask for stuff, he stuff, for example, here, I will ask for stuff. As for the staff, she needs staff right there. I know I for do anything, change direction, nothing. She start right there. Does he have hay in his mouth? Yeah. Um, so I noticed you put the stirrups back on. Normally you have this saddle without stirrups at first, don't you? Yeah, the first time, no high speed was nothing. No stirrups at all the first time. Then yeah, you add stirrups. For, for these horses, because you see what they back in, the, the strip will head in the size. Mm. And, and next time, you have trouble for putting the saddle back. Because it scares them. 
they start getting the saddle. And where they, they know more the saddle, and then I put the steel, see they went embarking and the steel was hitting, they, they, they need to figure out how it works because they back in, they have more head, more force. If they stop, they know how many the, the, the steel was hitting the force. So they had before that one because they know, see they, they, they need to go because before they do the style, they start not do nothing. If they know, they figure out what, what, what to get in. Okay, right here, now I ask for loping with the saddle like this, that's what I keep doing. Yeah. And now I put a stop again. I stop. Okay, you see, I just make a stop here, it's saying he, like he no had a roof. Because I showed the bar in the front, caught him. You blocked him off. Yeah, blocked or whatever it is. <laughs> I, I took a third direction. He's a handsome boy. Now I want to I will make a loop in the other side. Because he knows this work, he like he and in in his head, he not thinking it's all day do this work. And because he put attention what I do because I know like himself. I told him. Yeah, because you could do all this stuff in one day, but then your horse, how is he going to feel about yeah. work? Totally overwhelmed, and it was too much in one day, or too much at a time. Right now, he he's happy to come out and do something because it's not overwhelming. Okay, ready for loping. Let's go. You see right here, but I asked for loping. I ride my hand, give him pressure for the horse. And he not listen, I give him more pressure. Right there. Now give him less time. Ow. A <laughs> rock flew over here. Okay, check it again. What is it? Now he more like responded more easily. Put my hand right here. And then. Okay. I see the difference in this horse. Mm. He, he no change the lead. And he start, he no change the lead. I see other horses, they change the lead. This one, no. Keep the same lead. Boy. They come in, you see coming with him. Where you go? Where you go? I know I saw move. Ah, right there. You see right here, I had my rope. If he want to move, I go make a stop again. You're too far away. You can see? It's just really far away. You want, you want to move closer there? Yeah, if you're going to be talking. I don't know how to zoom on this thing. I don't know because if you can. I can see in him. For example, I want to make a stop. I walk it with him. If he want to move again, you walk in the side, make it disengage, or I don't know how to call it. That's what it's called. Make it move the back legs, and then come and touch him. You see right there? But I don't give it any pressure on the, the holder. He can run if he wants it. He no like it touch here. Ooh, the special sensitive spot. Now, I don't know how, I you, I will take a video when I take the best colors. When mm -hmm. Put it that way, or what's the reaction? Yeah. Oh, this one is transition. I, when I touch here, he needs he need used to be touched everywhere. I don't know, all the, the stallion like this, the yeah. Mustangs, yeah. they really offense in this area right here. 
Yeah, we know Oberon was a stallion because he's got babies in the wild. You have babies? Yeah, he's got babies. Babies too. <laughs> so you, you see this this thing? Yeah, that forelock is crazy. Oh, Paris. <laughs> He had a lot of which horse he had the long long mane. Mm -hmm. The Andalusian or the Frisian? A lot of breeds do. Okay. He looks like a quarter horse. Like an old, old foundation quarter horse. And, to me. and him the same. This is transition right here. Then they need used to be the, the rope swimming the other side. It's one of my leg when I ride him. I drop in my leg there. He no, he no freak it out. He no running or running towards you. Oh, this one here. He need like. It's the same. What I do with this one. Okay, you. And when you you stop one moment thinking, because that's the lead rope. There's a little piece of force different than legs, it's really big leg. Okay, this is the other thing I will show you. How the cats... The cat sprayed it. I sprayed it already? Yeah. Why are you smelling it if it smells bad? Okay, <laughs> this is the same. My leg goes that way. You see this is big thing, you see the different red right there?